Hello everyone. Um, thank you very much for watching this video on why study a language. My name is Marta Marquez and I, uh, I work at the University of Chester in the Modern Languages Department. So why study a language? You might wonder and I'm going to say why not? Studying a language is fun, it gives you lots of skills for the future and it also helps um, your, your own health so it's got lots of ingredients to be a positive thing in your life so why not study a language and as an example myself uh, I'm Spanish but I'm here talking to you in English if I hadn't taken that uh, adventures um, route to, to study English I wouldn't be here with you today so there we are So um, we're going to start with this short video that hopefully it, will, it represents, in my opinion, um, why study language is such a great skill to have in life and it prepares you for the world. So let's start with a little game. <clears throat> Fact or fiction? Everyone speaks English anyway, so why study a language? I don't need that. You might have heard. But is it true? Is that fact? Or is it fiction? So does everybody speak English or, or is not the reality? So do you know what percentage of the world's population are native speakers of English? Have you ever thought about that? 6%. Did you think it was higher? I'm afraid not. And what, sorry, what proportion of the world's population speak no English at all? What do you think? 75%. So there's a big difference there. And that um, sentence, that, that that phrase that we, we hear quite often, or oh, everybody speaks English, is actually not that um, clear. So, no, not everybody speaks English. And we've got some examples here. Um, so we've got, we've got Ajedrez Gigante, a uh, big cheese master, apparently, and also uh, signed in English and in Chinese. Um, I think uh, trying to find the toilet. So whoever needs the toilet and reads that description in English might have a bit of a problem. So fact or fiction? Uh, UK employers are not interested in language skills. What do you think? Uh, what have you read on the news? Uh, do you think it's something that businesses and employers are interested and they want their employees to have? Let's have a look. So according uh, with the um, CBI Education and Skills survey, survey done in 2019, three quarters, 72% of businesses want foreign languages skills amongst their employees. And why, do you might wonder? Well, that's to build relationship with clients, customers and suppliers, because most of today's companies do business with customers all over the world and several also have branches in different countries. So ch chances are very good uh, that when students enter the workforce, when you enter the workforce, you will be working with, at least doing business with, someone from another uh, nation with its own culture and its unique perspective at some point in your career. So um, 
at that point, if you're working with someone in, um, in a different country, it would be nice to at least address the person in their own language. Well, well, um, I've got this little crossword here that very nicely shows all the languages, uh, all the skills, sorry, that a lang studying a language will provide you with. Uh, so a language learner is confident, it's a listener, it's analytical, problem solver, focus, team player, sociable, flexible, organised, respectful, uh, communicator, resilient, empathetic, networker and creative. And that's those are only a few of those skills that uh, studied a language will um, give you. And those skills for employ for employability will just give you the give yourself the edge it's absolutely uh, what all the employers are looking for in a new employee um, because they can use them and they can um, they can use them in different situations absolutely and um, learning languages give you all these skills speaking another language makes you stand out from the crowd definitely and research has shown that studying a new language can stimulate the brain and enhance creativity think creative thinking sorry and mental agility regardless of the student's level of uh, proficiency so um it can mean um that you get more flexible in how you think because you have to work out how to paraphrase some ideas uh, and use using the structure of the other language. So your brain is constantly working. So um, that's another very good reason why study a language. And um, this chart here shows the language skills amongst 18 and 30 year old people in the UK. Uh, and we've got um, some um, participants that speak French, German, Spanish, Italian, Hindi. But at the very, very bottom, we've got a very high percentage of the population that uh, has studied or doesn't speak any of these languages. Not they can't hold a conversation in any of these languages. And um, the report published by the Higher Education Policy Institute cites an European wide survey showing that just 32% of young people in the UK said so they are able that, that they're able to read or write in more than one language. And at first, that 32% might be quite significant. However, when we compare that with the 79% of the peers in France and more than 90% in Germany, uh, it's a little bit <laughs> frustrating. Um, and also a recent British Council survey on lockdown language learning suggests that for many UK adults, a lack of a foreign language skills is a cause of regret. And only 9% of, resp of the respondents uh, said that they had kept up with the foreign language um, they learned in the school. But 64% uh, said that they wished they had carried on. So uh, do you want to be part of that 64% that regrets or, or the 9% that actually can uh, hold the conversation and continue using that foreign language. So we've got, uh, I've got this little um, table game here where we've got um, which of these graduates are more likely to be unemployed um, so after six months um, after graduating? So we've got that. That's the average six months. Uh, we've got 7.1 percent. 
and let's have a look at which graduates are more uh, likely to be unemployed uh, after graduation. So with the highest percentage, we've got creative arts and design with a 12.3%. And at the very, very top, we've got medicine, dentistry and veterinary. Then we've got business studies with a 6.6 .6 there uh, towards the end of the table. And then we've got psychology. English with a 6.5 as well as uh, psychology or maths with a 6.3. Education does quite well and they've got a, 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 a percentage of unemployment of 3.1. Law, uh, 3.7. Uh, engineering and technology quite low at the table and architecture, building and planning 4.9 kind of um, in the middle or toward the top, and computer science kind of towards the end. Um, and then we've got those three um, gaps. Let's have a look who they are, what they are. German, uh, it only has a 4.8% of unemployment. French, 5%, and all more than foreign languages, 5.7%. So we can see that um, Compared with other graduates, uh, more than language students do actually really, really well after they graduate and they tend to find a job um, quick enough after they graduate. So again, if we go back to the CBI Education and Skills Survey in 2019, uh, languages in demand are mainly German is the, the first one, then French and Spanish. And then we carry on with Mandarin, Polish, Arabic and, and the other languages that are in that table. So you might wonder, OK, well, but I study a language and what can I do with a language? Um, which career can I do with a language? Is it just translation and interpreting? and teaching? We'll see. So you can only do translation and interpreting or teaching when you study a language. Is that a fact or a fiction? Let's have a look. What jobs do people with a language do? Well, according to a, a search on top languages, jo top language job uk in February, these are those um, jobs that will show if you've got a language. Customer service, sales, IT, yes, translation and interpreting, marketing and advertising, banking and finance, pharmaceutical, scientific, creative and media, engineering and education. So you can see there is a great variety there of jobs that you can do, you can enter in the market if you've got a language. And the fact that in all jobs, um, sorry, the fact that in jobs like sales and customer services, those skills have been in demand for such a while uh, that suggests that really being able to speak uh, to customers in their language is very, very, very important for businesses. I've, and we have seen that um, previously as well. So it's a fact, it is a fact that studying a language is fun and it's interesting to learn about all the cultures uh, and they're very good for you. Like we've seen, it, it's very good for your brain. Speaking more than one language increases your brain capacity and you have better memory too. And uh, they're supposed to prevent Alzheimer too. So the brain is constantly uh, working, um, you even might dream in a foreign language, and uh, there we are. So it's um, it's um, it's a pleasure. So we have, or I have, told you quite a few reasons why to study a language and reasons to, to learn a language could be. Learning a language means that you can read. 
uh, the foreign press, uh, which perhaps gives you a different stance or point of view on the world's events. So you can be more critical and analytical. Um, part of the reason that the NHS has interpreters is to ensure that there are equal opportunities and that all the people are able to access uh, the services. NHS, and we can also um, talk about legal um, work and being in court and represent clients in court as well. And when you study another language, you develop a much more sophisticated knowledge of your English grammar as well, because you are analysing and you are restructuring uh, the language all the time. Language students have above um, average IT skills in comparison with the rest of the population and they can work to deadline and be flexible and adaptable in dynamic situations. That is uh, something that our students are dealing with in every day. Uh, and if you want to work in the Ministry of Defence, a language could help you uh, and it will help you because um, if you want to promote um, a, within the army, you have to have a language, and the more the merrier. Um, also, language learning makes travellers travelling easier because you are more memorable and more enjoyable and more in line because you can just forget about the stress of not understanding that foreign language. You just can enjoy uh, the walk and the trip and sightseeing. And also having to spend a compulsory year abroad uh, on a language degree will show that you are more flexible, independent, determined and confident because you have it, it's it's a big deal to have having to go to a foreign country and work or study there. And if you if you do that, then you will bring all those skills with you for sure. And as an example, we've got Oliver here who spent a year in France working in a vineyard. So there we are. So you don't only has to you don't only have to um, go there and study. Uh, you can work and you can work wherever you want to. So lovely time uh, around France that he had. And like we said, the advantages of, of studying a year um, abroad include the opportunity to learn about the culture, travel within uh, the country or uh, countries around, live in Spain, in France, in German, uh, in Germany uh, with with their own with their, the locals, and meet new friends for sure. So um, I also wanted to add a few uh, quotes from different newspapers. So it's not just me saying, oh, this is great, study a language because it's fun. Um, the press also supports what we're saying. And they say if Brexit and the debate over the Irish backstop have taught us anything, is uh, that we need subject specialists uh, with a language skill, lawyers, economists, geographers, engineers, business graduates with a language skill to understand, negotiate and argue the details. And that was published in The Guardian. Also, um, back in 2017, it was estimated that the UK was losing our um, 4.8 billion uh, pound every year as a result of its lack of a language skill. And some of the big winners of the COVID-19 economy, such as the global film um, and TV streaming services and online retailers are also boosting demand for translators who can provide subtitles and dubbing for all the productions and, and TV programs and films uh, in all different languages. So there we are. Um, there are many, many reasons why studying language is a clever and smart thing to do. And to finish, I just wanted to uh, leave you with this quote from Frank Smith. One language sets you in a corridor for life and two languages open every door 
along the way and um, it's up to you if you want to have many options in life or uh, if you want to restrict them a little bit so the world is your oyster study a language we have seen that it gives you many many different skills and it prepares you for life as we saw with the little fish at the beginning thank you very much for listening and have a lovely day